noticed often a lot of people who have interest in Super Sentai and have questions about the history of the franchise and where to start, they didn't have a point of reference to help. I'm making this video as that point of reference so that you can come back and get an idea as to which is the next show you would like to watch. Also, when people ask what is a good Super Sentai show to start off with, oftentimes others will make suggestions that have you bouncing around from show to show. My intentions when making suggestions is to maintain chronological order as much as possible. Uh, to watch these out of order in a way might cause confusion, seeing how Super Sentai is known for doing things that if you're coming from Power Rangers, you're not going to be used to. So what is Super Sentai? Super Sentai is a franchise that started by Shotaro Ishinomori back on April 5th, 1975. Um, it predates the existence of Power Rangers by 15 teams in, a, in about 18 years. So this chart that I designed uh, is to help people who are coming from Power Rangers get more familiar about the chronological timeline of Super Sentai's as well as uh, help them understand the order that they might that they may want to watch the shows in. With Common Rider, they're often they're oftentimes referenced in like the Showa era, the Heisei era, or the Reiwa era, right? Super Sentai's aren't necessarily referenced like that. So to help people, especially the which primarily the ones coming from Power Rangers looking to get into Super Sentai, in order to help them, I kind of reference the shows in. In a Power Rangers uh, timeline form, to to get them to give them a better understanding as to uh, the timelines that they're more familiar with with the Japanese counterparts. I have the pre Power Ranger uh, Sentai shows. I have the Zordon timeline, which is where we start to get adaptations from. I have the post Zordon timeline. The I, I have the Disney timeline the uh the neo saban timeline and i have our current timeline that we're in which is the, which is called the hasbro uh timeline you look at all the way up to the top right so there's precisely uh 15 teams that predate the existence of zeal ranger which would get adapted into mighty Morphin power rangers and so those 15 teams are you know it's up here is a it's uh, Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger, uh, Jack Denji Gentai, Battle Fever J, which is actually the first Super Sentai. Denji Man, we have Sun Vulcan, Goggle Five, Dyna Man, Bio Man, Change Man, Flash Man, Mask Man, Live Man, Turbo Ranger, Five Man, and Jet Man. The pre Power Rangers timeline runs from 1975 to 1991. We don't get Power Rangers until 1993, and the Power Rangers counterpart always starts a year after the uh super sentai counterpart so the zordon timeline which is the next timeline i have and that goes from 1992 to 19 1997 uh, and that's zero ranger die ranger kaku ranger o ranger car ranger mega ranger and to put this in power rangers lore this would be mighty morphin power rangers uh mighty morphin power rangers season two this would be mighty morphin alien rangers the power rangers zeo Power Rangers Turbo and Power Rangers in Space. And then then next we have the post Zordon era, right? And that goes from nineteen ninety-eight to two thousand one. And this is Ginga Man, Go Go Five, Time Ranger, and Gal Ranger, which again, referencing this to, to the Power Rangers counterpart, this would be Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, and Wild Force. And next up we have the Disney timelines, which go from two thousand two to two thousand eight. Hurricane Ranger, Abba Ranger, Decca Ranger, Agile Ranger, Bo Kinger, Geki Ranger, and Go Onger. Referencing their Power Rangers counterparts, this would be Ninja Storm, uh, Dino Thunder, SPD, uh, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, and RPM. Um, next up, we have the Neo Saban timeline, which goes from 2009 to 2015. And this is Shin Kinger, Go Sager, Go Kaiger, Go Busters, Kyo Ryuger, Tokyuger, and Nin Ninja. And this would be Power Rangers Samurai, uh, Power Rangers Mega Force, Power Rangers Super Mega Force, which was season two, Beast Morphers, Dino Charge, Tokyuger never got adapted. Then we have Ninja Steel. Next up, we have the Hasbro timeline, and that goes from 2016 to current. Uh, so the Sentai series from that timeline 
would be Zoo Ranger, Q Ranger, Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger, Ryu Soldier, uh, Kira Miger, Zen Kaiger, Dawn Brothers, uh, King Oger, and Boom Boonger. Now, the only Power Ranger adaptation we got out of this timeline was from Ryu Soldier, which got adapted into Dino Fury. Now, they partially adapted uh, Q Ranger, so they went back to two shows to adapt the Zords, and I believe they adapted some of the villains from that. So, uh, Ryu Soldier, or rather, what we got as, as a Power Rangers Dino Fury, um, they ended up getting a season two. Uh, Dino Fury got a season two called Cosmic Fury, where they went into space or uh, something like that. I haven't watched it yet, so... Um, but supposedly they went into space, and from what I read, uh, they used the Zords from Q Ranger, and then they made their own original suits. They didn't adapt the suits from Q Ranger. All right, now for the big question. If you are coming from Power Rangers and you are looking to get into Super Sentai, what Super Sentai is a good place to start for you? In context with... Uh, chronological order I also suggest watching it in that way because Super Sentai especially when you look around the Neo Saban era they're known for having what's called anniversary Sentais right and anniversary Sentais are um, Super Sentais that are pretty much made to celebrate the franchise's history so oftentimes what you'll notice during those particular shows is that those rangers have access to like the past Power Rangers uh, forms. Like they can temporarily transform into them. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily jump into those shows without at least having some idea of the shows that preceded. For example, the, the only two anniversary Sentais that we actually have are... Uh, Kaizo Sentai Gokaiger and uh, Zenkaiger. Gokaiger itself is a big payoff for at least being having a general understanding of the shows that came before it. The beauty in a in a show like Gokaiger is understanding the references that they made. So it's uh, like I said, you don't have to go f as far back as like Jetman and like Bioman and all of them, but I wouldn't go any further back, you know, coming from Power Rangers, I wouldn't go any further back than Zeo Ranger. Then just watch them in chronological order from that point on. If you're watching Power Rangers, right, a good starting point for you might be the Super Sentai counterpart. So let's say, like, if you stopped watching Power Rangers at Ninja Storm, right, I will go back and watch Hurricane and then watch everything that comes after that, right? Or if you stop watching Power Rangers during Time Force, go back and watch Time Ranger, then watch everything that that came after that point. Um, you know, I would try to suggest watching it like that. That'd probably be a good way to start watching uh, Super Sentai's. Uh, there's a lot of shows that never got adapted in uh, into Power Rangers. Um, if you guys want to know about it want to know about those and the reasons why I can make a video on that feel free to you know ask me if you guys want to see that but um but yeah this is just how I would present Super Sentai to people and uh hopefully they get into the history of the franchise because it's a, it's a really good franchise you know, the shows are great overall um there are things that we're never going to see as Power, uh, as Power Ranger fans. Where it's, it's some things that Super Sentai's do that we're never going to see. Uh, and it's almost like being a part of a, an exclusive club, in a sense, when you watch these shows. Because you know everybody don't know the history of Power Rangers and the adaptations and where the show comes from. So it's cool to see what the original does versus what the Power Rangers counterpart did. So if you guys have any more questions in regards to Super Sentai's and you guys want to ask me, feel free to leave a comment underneath the video. Make sure you're hitting that follow button and I will see you guys next time.